Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Kaiser Redux. I'm your host, Mr. Mokalover. And right now, we have the end of the second American Civil Kerfuffle. The enemies of America have been destroyed. Once again, the South has been pacified, the syndicalist mess has been suppressed, and the American Caesar has been vanquished. Threats to American democracy have been destroyed, and the great system designed so wisely by the great Founding Fathers has survived another threat. Now, across the country, the people can rejoice and celebrate a new era of peace. And I have my cat here, Binky, here, just because he loves America. This light of liberty has not been extinguished yet. Ooh, yeah, that, that's right, Bink. This does not look very good. Wow. And we're still finishing up bombing support, so. All right, Bink, go back to biting the sheets. Anyways, hope you guys are having a pretty good day. Uh, one of the comments from yesterday uh, was, oh, Pacific victory in the Civil War, very good, in defense of liberty. And we gotta remember, Canada, did not back us when the war began or was really going on. So, look at all that peepee -pee we got. Now, we can attack the Philippines. As the former guardians of the Philippines, we have the right, have the right to concern ourselves with what has become of the government following the end of the Civil War. If need be, we will liberate them from the oppression once again. Oh, uh, we might as well do that, right? We get some more war support. We get a war go against the Philippines. That seems pretty good. Let's go and rebuild what? The Steel Belt. I like the Steel Belt. Let's rebuild them. And recruit a head of intelligence because we have so much PP. Why not? We get some more propaganda. Sounds pretty good to us. And we can reclaim New England and Alaska and Hawaii, huh? Well, are they in the co-prosperity sphere? They are with the Reich's Pact. I need to play as Hawaii sometime. I really do. Let's try to reclaim that then. Let's see what happens. Nothing there. And... Oh, two more divisions, two more 40 combo with. Looks seems, seems like Binky's decided to calm down a little bit. All right, and let's jump up to partial mobilization. Now that we've reunited everyone, we do not have standard oil yet, which really does kind of suck. And they rejoin Hawaii. The government of Hawaii is voted to rejoin America. God bless America. God, I love it. I love America. Oh, that's not even a core. Oh, that's painful to look at and see. Wow, we're building up a lot of civvies. Holy crud. Um, how much rubber do we have? We actually have slightly of an excess, but that's not going to be enough for us. So, boom, boom. And we're all building up a lot of roads here. Uh, you know what? Let time go on a little bit more. Ooh, we have advanced carrier holes, though. We'll let time go on as soon as we get this one done. Get as much hangar space as possible. We still don't have any radars, which is a big mistake by me, but whatever. There you go. You are done, done. There you go. Nice. Start making some of those guys. Destroyers are pretty easy to make. We just gotta research more stuff. You know, it's, it's time. This isn't like the Star Wars mod, or, yeah, where it costs you money to actually get that stuff. Uh, we'll take a little bit of time here, improve ourselves, improve our army, military, and stuff like that, but let's go ahead and do Classical Liberals won the re-election. It appears that the pro-industry, laws of fair ways of the Republican Party have been vindicated as the Pacific states entrust them to bring prosperity to America with their agenda, with a new mandate. They are confident they'll be able to do just that. Wow. Too bad I can't show you what Binky looks, looks like right now. Wow. He's really, uh... Having a good time with my sheets, but that's all right. Go ahead and do that. Let time go on. And you know what? I think we will probably choose... Well, I already kind of know which way we're going to choose for our direction here. Because now, uh, we can do back in business very soon. Uh, extraction would be bad. Rubber wouldn't be bad either. Our land auction is fully completed, which is nice. Let's see, keep, keep doing some of our air auctions. Since we have so much air XP already. So, might as well use it while we got it. And after excavation, it is 41, so we're already fairly ahead in time. Um, radar, naval stuff. Let's grab anti-air. Let's grab some anti-air. <clears throat> and we'll do back in business. The nation's seen some troubles, which meant it could not act as an international power, but not as it deserves to be. But now that has changed. America's ready to re-enter the world stage? Absolutely. Actually, what is the world like? Obviously, we got to get New England. But we have a pretty good military already. Alright, my apologies about that. It looks like the <clears throat> Union of Britain is no longer a union. Uh, they split themselves up. Germany is not looking so good. The Communist France is doing pretty darn well. And I had to let Binky out of my room because he doesn't like it when I speak in my room sometimes. He's very peculiar. He likes it very quiet. Last America saying, if you want to about that, please go right ahead. God bless America. Absolutely. Blood, Fire Division, Leslie. I don't like his old guard, but he's got that artillery officer thing, so I'm going to go with him. There you go. Now nah, it's a little bit more balance here. There you go. We might fight Canada. I kind of doubt that we will, but that's fine. Alright, so go... 
There you go. And Boomerinos. All right. Janet Clark, Oscar Clark, Samantha Jackson. She smooches as well, so we're going to go with her. And make sure we keep doing this stuff so we can get all this stuff done. Um, if they don't give me New England, then we'll probably have to go to war with them. But I need to explain oh, my decision. Boulder Dam complete. This morning it came, I saw, and I conquered, as everyone who would be sees for the first time this great feat of mankind. Ten years ago, the place where we gathered was a sparse, forbidden desert. In the bottom of a gloomy canyon, whose precipitous walls rose to a height of more than a thousand feet, flowed a turb turbulent, dangerous river. The mountains on either side of the canyon were difficult of access, with neither road nor trail, and the rocks were protected by neither trees nor grass from the blazing heat of the sun. The site of Boulder City was a cactus-covered waste. The transformation wrought here in these years is the 20th century marvel. Thus began Howard Hughes' speech dedicating the creation of Boulder Dam that has finally been completed today. And on behalf of the nation, we say to you, well done. Ah, Boulder Dam, just... New Vegas, just, just New Vegas, all in my mind. No, I love building civvies. We need some infrastructure, and we're gonna build up more dockyards right now, because we have enough civvy production anyway. So that'll be good. Let's get some light ship hull, light ship hulls. Um, <clears throat> we definitely need that. Actually, our civility continues to go up plus point eight every, and plus one because we have war propaganda. So that's actually really nice. All right, not bad. Transylvania has capitulated. How is the Reichs back doing? I really need to play the rights back sometime. Oh, Dona, Adrian Boone is losing to the Belgrade. Belgrade pocked. Uh, the Italian block is not looking so good. And back in business. So with this de decision in this direction, new moralism, we're kind of upsetting the social norms in the pursuit for more money. We are set up the Negro Bureau to help out the, the uh, African-American population here. Oh, and to claim laws. But, like, I think right now, what I'm really just focusing on is just trying to get more, much more money. And you know what's good? You know how to make what's very profitable? If I could speak correctly. Intervening in other people's affairs. And, you know, having a war economy is very, very profitable. So we can't go with this one because we're not the party that we need to do. Um, but new moralism sounds like a lot of fun. But I don't think we'll do that one just because we're not spiritualists and stuff like that. But we'll do new interventionism. We made a mistake when we decided not to enter the Valkyrie. Though we may not agree with the Anton on everything, they are our natural allies. Let us rectify our mistake by joining them now and retaking their home countries. It is time to make our debut, or debut on the world stage. Yeah. Just because that's some war profiteering, going to war, making money. Why not? Anti clan laws. Following the great civil, first civil war in the 60s of 1800s, a number of laws were passed by President Grant to stop the first clan and their terrorism. During the Wilson and Palmer administrations, the clan experienced a major rebirth, and they decided to rejoin, uh, join the would be tyrant William H. Murray. We should use the laws. Uh, to make sure that these terrorist traitors do not find any risk within America. Of course, some believe we should focus on reconciliation with former members on, on only crackdown and only crack down on those whom are actively plotting against the state. Death to the clan. So do we get new, some new interventionism? Because we're actually doing not too bad right now at all. Uh, actually, if that's the case, we don't need to be up there. Let's, let's get ready for Mexico, probably. I'm not going to send our tanks down there, but that's all right. Because our ships are not doing too bad. And there was one comment from yesterday saying that, you know what? You don't need to split, you press S to split them in half. Just press D, and it'll split in half, which is actually really awesome. Thank you for letting me know that about that, because I did not realize that. D, combine. Whee! You go all the way down and combine them back again. Very cool. So we just need a lot more carriers. Actually, yeah, this definitely needs a carrier. We definitely need a lot of carriers here. So machine assisted decryption, very nice. Back in business. It is fairly laggy just because of all the processing the game has to do, but, you know, it is what it is. We definitely need more military... Okay, we really need some more military factories. That's really not good then. Anti-aircraft guns. Grab the next one too, because you can. Um, yeah. Let's make some more millies now. That's a California is a really good infrastructure right now. 40, 60, and I do it there. Alright, so what are we making? 55, let's go down to like 15. Artie's really not that bad, so we'll go down to 15 as well. You guys can go down to uh, go down to 10. That's not too bad. Uh let everything can go to about like to 5-ish first, because we need to make all these guys as well, so. Uh anti-air, that's not bad. We might make some oh we'll probably have more than enough military factors in the end, so. Not too bad. Actually, instead of you guys doing Canada, we'll probably be able to join the Anton anyways. Anton Alliance, yeah. We join them. Um, can we ask for Alaska, maybe? Well, let's rebuild the Steel Belt first. Let's and then let's do the South. We'll claim Alaska. Let's see what happens with that. Alright. And Alaska returns. Yay! Alaska, as it should be. Alright, so not too bad. We're making a lot of convoys as well. Uh, you guys are gone. We don't need you anymore for now. Dreadnoughts. I love Dreadnoughts, but we have no radar here, too. 
<clears throat> uh, we can make some. You guys are actually capital ships, which I'm not going to use, so there you go. Yeah, Dreadnoughts wouldn't be bad, I guess. Get some anti-air. We're already pretty darn slow. Eh, maybe not. Let's make some more of these guys. There you go, anti-air two. These guys are not very good. Um, there you go. Sonar one, sonar two. It is what it is. There you go. Cool. That should be good enough. Back in business. Followed up with new interventionism. Yay. Cool. And we got lots of being made, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. We have enough already. Go down to five for now. And we need, oh, now we need more rubber. We definitely need more rubber now. All right, machine description. Go and do that one. So it seems like Canada will probably give us New England whenever we ask for it. So, and just do these groups because we will have to go to war with Mexico because they're part of the Third International, which is not very cool. I would like to get. Oh, do we have more? Oh, look at that, nice. Uh, uh well, did that anyways. It's not much of a change, but whatever. When you're done, finish that, those guys off. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Anti-air upgrades. Grab the next one, too, because we want to get level 3 if we can. That'd be good. And then, after this one, we'll grab some naval bombers. So we'll probably go to Africa, and then put a lot of planes down there. Invade southern France that way, so. Coffee's pretty good. Pretty darn good. All right. Carrier fighters. Uh, we will join the war effort by the end of this episode too. So I just want—I want to get involved quickly. Hmm. The American Civil War has caused much damage to the vast majority of our country, including many former major league ba ballparks. After the success of the Pacific Coast League over the past few seasons, many major league teams decided to abandon their destroyed stadiums and move westwards. Now taking advantage of the West Coast's relatively unscathed counterparts. The first team to announce such move were the New York Giants to San Francisco, soon followed by the Brooklyn Dodgers to L.A. Both teams have storied followings, and the fans of the new cities have taken to them immediately. And it looks like the other teams will soon follow suit. As of now, though, many other East Coast teams are deciding to stay put. As such, the storied Yankees, who are now the only remaining team in New York. That's going to be a long train ride. And that one that I'm not going to join them on, because that's a, that's just, that's a very long train ride. <laughs> it's very long, that's all. That's when we get be getting done soon enough. We have 1,100 of these guys. Go and share the wealth. Share the factories. Uh, you know, I can grab two more. Why not? I don't really want to fight Germany, but we'll see. Um, We could probably use this guys a little bit more, too. Why not? Why not? Oh, and we can build up roads here, too. That'll be good. Yeah, I'm really pushing for war, war right now. Um, Even though we're really not ready. A victory in the Civil War. Yeah, we need to do a, the liberal recovery... Future the AFP. We need to do all this stuff, but do we have to be a piece for this stuff? I hope, hopefully not. Hopefully not. Begin reconstruction. I mean, that'd be good. President Hurst. That'd be really cool. But whatever. Spiritualist in control would be nice. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to get involved immediately. Let's go and demand uh, New England. I don't want to wait. Even though we get, actually, we're doing really well on PP. New England rejoins America. The Canadians have withdrawn the troops from Boston and the cities of New England, and say their occupation is over and that they were just keeping the region safe from cynicalism. New England has at least been reunited with the rest of America. God bless America. Beautiful. Entente Alliance. We need to ally the Entente, our brethren in capitalist democracy, against extremists and hostile imperial forces that would threaten us both. We need to help them take back their homeland from cynicalism, and which will be destroyed, and they will be a buffer zone. Child labor amendment. Child labor? Is this like Vicky too? I love child labor. Uh, let's see. Artillery? Yeah, good artillery. Congress has recently, recently proposed an amendment to outlaw child labor throughout the country. The proposed amendment reads as follows. Section 1. The Congress shall have power to limit, regulate, and prohibit the labor of persons under 18 years of age. 2. The power of the several states is unimpaired by this article, except that the operation of state laws shall be suspended to extent necessary to give effect to the legislation enacted by the Congress. As per the Constitution of the U.S., it has been ratified by either the legislators of three-fourths of the states, or state-ratifying conventions, and three-fourths of the states. What shall happen with the amendment? Fails to be ratified. Fine. It's not very business savvy, but so be it. So be it. If we have to get rid of child labor, okay. And how are you guys doing? Permission of whack. It's been proposed by the Congress to create a committee dedicated to dealing with subversive elements within our society. Those that fought against the government. The committee, this committee shall be known as the House of Un-American Activities Committee. And should be dedicated to snapping up traitors to America. However, some within the government question its reach and regard it to be unconstitutional. What should Congress do? Don't form it? We're going to form the committee. 
Social democracy goes way down. Well, it doesn't even matter. Look, we're so market liberal here. Holy crap. America's reunited. At long last, the U.S. of A has been reunited. The Tower of MacArthur has been cast down. All other traders, the country that seeks to turn America into something, has not been defeated. The stars and stripes now fly proudly from coast to coast, knowing that liberty is secured for all Americans at long last. Oh, we just become the America again. That kind of sucks. I kind of like having the uh, California bear on the flag, but you know, whatever. Nice. Get those carriers done, gosh darn it. We still have a ton of peepee here. Okay, so now that we're America, we can only get that? Eh, it seems kind of like an oversight for us. Uh, we can grab that stuff. We need to get some more of this up too, especially close air support, because I want to use them as well. Uh, yeah, might as well. Why not? We can get some better tanks as well. I like using the word as well. A new capital for America. With America reunited, the question as to what should be the capital of America has been brought before Congress. Which city shall Congress prove to be the capital? Um, I kind of prefer San Francisco or Sacramento right now, but because we're market liberals and we're not really radicals, if we when we play as a spiritualist, I'm gonna make you make it uh, a California capital. I think DC would still be okay for now, maybe. Yeah, I should do DC. There you go. There you go. Cool. All right, not bad. Anton Alliance followed up with what? Long Reach? Well, we do that one. At Patriotic Broadsides? It's not too bad. Anti-Syndicalist Alignment. Support New Mexico? Let's do Anti-Syndicalist Alignment. And then Avenge Mexican Crimes. Did Mexico truly believe it could get away with rejecting our sphere of influence to instead embrace syndicalist banditry? Their raids on our borders have stolen and killed too many American citizens, and so long as they are not under the American sun, they will remain a threat. Let us remind the American people that those who hurt them will go unavenged. You get more war support and more manpower? Not a lot of manpower, but we'll, no, we'll take it. Suicide pills? Why not? Tasty stuff. And 13 more days left, and we have new interventionism, which is nice. Guaranteed cost goes up, which is fine. Uh, actually, are we demobilizing? Yes, we are. We're currently 10.5%. We're on volunteer only for 1.5%, so we'll see how much manpower we have left. I don't like this. You know, we'll, we'll do this one then. We can actually use that one. Death charge mortars. Nice. This stuff is almost all done. Let's get some sonars, because that'll be important. And we have enough naval XP for that now. Anyways... Um, we're, we're building this off anyways. Tank-wise, I'm disappointed that we don't have the other companies here, but, eh. There's no one in government, too. Look at that. A Huey Long? Oh, we can't get Huey Long, huh? Anthem for America. The U.S. does not have an official anthem today. A debate within Congress has been picked up to declare a song to be the anthem. <clears throat> wow, look at them. Uh, four songs have been chosen as possible candidates. What one should Congress pick? Columbia, Jim of the Ocean, Hail Columbia, Like a Tree to the... Um. Well, let's do the Star Tangle Banger. We're pretty much just, I guess, America Light at this point. Anti Syndicalist Alignment. Become a Spy Master, please. Thank you. We'll gladly take that. We're still working on stuff here. And rebuild New England. Yes. Join the ISAC. Yes. And I'll probably try to take over the faction, so. Why not? Improved artillery. Great. Get even better artillery. I love Artie. Mexicans need to learn what liberty truly is like. They really want us to join the war, huh? Invitation to IEDC. Um, if you want to read about this, please go right ahead. Uh, so, I mean, this happens pretty much every one. So we have enough PP to do that, so that's fine with us. Now, we're going to hang out first. Uh, IEDC advisors. Better research efficiency gain. More uh, consumer goods. We're already doing really well on consumer goods. Dockyard Oppo would not be bad, actually. Construction speed would be extremely good to get. So you can build stuff even faster, 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 faster. 30% is nothing to laugh at, but out, Dockyard output. I want carriers now. We need them in the field. How close are we? You know what? We're going to go with this one. Dockyard output, ship repair speed, refitting speed. Go, 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 go. That should help us out a little bit better, right? Instead of 42, well, maybe he's going to say the same. Maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, maybe that was a mistake. Oh, well. Leave the IEDC. We're probably not going to do that one. And let's go here. Oh, yep. We are those guys. Stop doing that. Treaty Budapest. Austria has fallen far. Yes, 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 they have. And do we have more planes? We could probably use a few air bases down here, too. Oh, most definitely. Most definitely. There's no turning around once we start the war, so... Or start going to war with these guys. Um, actually... Well, radar station would be bad, but we don't have a very developed radar station. Yeah, that's pretty pathetic. Let's wait. Uh, throw him right there, anyways, because he can eventually. 
I'll throw them up in New England. Doesn't really matter to me. We'll have more than enough time to build all this stuff up. We want to make some garrison divisions too, but that would impact performance as well. So I'm like, eh, maybe not. All right, so you guys done? Oh, who the heck is that? Um, cruisers would be nice. I just want to make sure that these guys are good. But that's pretty nice, actually, what we got so far. Uh, naval auction would be nice. That stuff would be nice. It's 41 still. Tanks. We need to get some better tanks. There you go. We're going to lose a lot of tanks anyways for now. It's fine. Give us a little bit more time. And we're at 19. We're going to repair a whole bunch first. And we're almost done repairing everything, which is awesome. So, carriers, are you almost done? God dang it, carriers. Chinese Exclusion Act. Since the 1800s, the Chinese have been excluded from the U.S. and unable to become citizens and unable to immigrate to the U.S. Congress is now debating if they should repeal the act or keep it in books. The act stays. After this, we're going to go straight to Mexico. A little bit of lag, but whatever. All right, we'll, we'll, re we'll rebuild America once we're really chucking through this war. So, avenge Mexican crimes. Yes, please. Please, 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 please. We are ready to do this. We have a total of two days left. You can see how laggy it is. That's one of the reasons why I don't like playing Kaiser or Kaiser Redux sometimes. It's just very, very uh, laggy. Tokyo talks. War in Japan. Embargo Japan. Huh. Localized training centers. Let's grab some of that. All right. And Wilburn's a really good smoocher, but Wilfred here, Dunderdale, is a seducer as well. Sorry, Dick Ellis. Roland Griffiths Marsh. Look like him and Goring a little bit, huh? Smoocher, come on. You guys just hang out for now. That's fine. Oh, and create an African section? No, I don't care about that stuff. Nope. Not sure. America's back at it. Here we go. And here we go. The American Sleeping Giant has awakened. A giant revitalized. Even though we're not even done with American, uh, you know, re rebuilding yet. So that's okay. Hopefully Mexico falls apart very quickly. Alright. And hopefully we don't get uh, copyright struck here with all the music in the background. My apologies. Oh, are we at war with the Co-Prosperity Sphere as well? Um, Reich's Pact? I don't really care about the Reich's Pact. My goal is to only take out the Reds. That's my main goal for the rest of this campaign. Oh, we are war with Japan. Okay. I didn't realize that. I didn't realize that. Okay, my bad. Whatever. Doesn't really matter. War propaganda? Might as well. Work with Austrian out. Al what does this do? American advisors? We should use American know-how and aid to aid our allies in the Austrian Empire, sending them much-needed equipment and advisors. They've agreed. They've agreed. Oh, give military access. Venezuela, Fengshan, Xinjiang, French National State, German Empire. We got a lot more out of that than I thought we would. Cool. So kill those gals off. Um, I think what we're going to do is probably head on through to Japan. We'll focus on the Japanese Equal Rights Amendment. The amendment has been conceived up in the early 20s following the passage of the 18th Amendment to allow women the right to vote. The amendment would follow up on the 19th and further protect the rights of women throughout the U.S. of A. The amendment reads as follows. Section 1. Equality of rights under the law shall not be denied or abridged by the U.S. or by any state on account of sex. 2. The Congress shall have the power to enforce by appropriate legislation the provisions of this article. 3. This amendment shall take effect two years after the date of ratification. As per the Constitution of the U.S., it has to be ratified by either the legislators of three-fourths of the states or the state ratifying conventions in three-fourths of the states. Eh, so be it, whatever. I don't care. We got war to fight. We're going straight to war economy once again. Uh, you might as well do that one. Why not? And you might as well go there. Whatever. Let's go, boys. Let's go. We've lost 3,000 men versus, uh, well, how many Mexicans? Uh, 81,000? 82,000? Wow. We could do that, or we could keep working on our naval doctrine, which we're probably going to do. We need another research slot, but that's going to take a while to get down to, because we have so many other focuses we've got to do. I'm sure, guys, I don't really care. I think we're doing quite well. Uh, good, good, good. Let's grab some of this, too. There you go. Oh, my goodness. You're taking so long to make another plane. All right, so I'm going to send you guys down here, too. <clears throat> I want to make sure our, our guys are actually okay down there. Uh, we probably have to start a naval invasion campaign. Once Mexico's gone, I will probably help out our allies and take these guys over. Maybe. We'll see what happens. That's five. Boom. Six. There you go. Now that's five. That's not bad. Ah, uh, labor laws. A set of laws have been recently proposed by Congress that works for the first for the first time establish <clears throat> a federal minimum training or a federal minimum wage and maximum hours per week. The minimum wage law would set hourly wages at 25 cents an hour, while the maximum law hours would establish a 40-hour work week. These laws are also being packaged together in Congress, meaning that if one fails or passes, uh, so does the other. Should we sign off? 
raise the minimum wage further? Social conservatism? Wait, how does that work? Social conservatism? And they raise the minimum wage even further. Pass the laws? Oh, we can pass the laws. We need more stability, even though we get more weekly stability. If you want to do about that, please go ahead. The prairies are fine. I don't care. That's fine with me. I mean, we, I mean, honestly, you guys come to America. Um, we have probably a lot more land than Canada. Well, Canada does have a lot of land, but how much of it is usable to fly over? Probably quite a bit, actually. It doesn't really matter. Nancy Wake? Sure. Well, we're back at it, killing other enemies of the world, which is nice. I like it. I enjoy it. And those guys have called us in, or avenged Mexican crimes. Um, Banana Republics. Stop cynicalism. Southern cynicalism. Well, enter the fray. We've kind of already done that one. Longer reach would be nice. Oh, Illyria is gone, and oh boy, that's not good. Ooh, war plans? I mean, kind of already at war. Oh, let's do a victory in the Civil War. Separatists have failed again in the mission to destroy the Union of the U.S. of A. Though both radical socialists and populists dug into the power base, we have proven the power of the legitimate government once more. The would-be dictators, Haywood and Long, are no longer welcome in America. So now we can kind of focus on that stuff a little bit more just because, uh, well, we kind of already won the war. So, what do you expect? Oh, hello. Oh, Prince of Federation, I don't really care. Don't really care that much. Oh, right. You died? Nope. IEDC investment. Oh, uh, what do we want? Dockyard capabilities? Um, I need more dockyards. Uh, I did deploy... Oh, they, here they are. You guys right there. You guys come down to here and do that. All right. Zoot Zoot Riots. Um, I think this happens every single time. So if you want to do about that, please guard ahead. Yeah. This is not good. Oh, well. Avenge Mexican crimes. Victory in the Civil War. Rebuild the West. Even though we didn't really get too damaged over there, but liberal recovery. Mm, Patriot broadsides. I'll do longer reach. I like that one. More uh, trade conflict production cost. More max naval range factor. If we were to project our power onto the rest of the world, we must achieve the ability to do so through our naval power, which is absolutely true. Advance better, even better lightship holes. Yes, please. Level three. Here we go. Oh, we need more of that stuff. That's right. Um, there you go. That's not too bad. Uh, Anti-sub, level 3. Torpedoes, level 2 still. Let's grab some more anti-sub, because I really don't want to fight enemy subbies. Enemy subbies and their chubbies. There you go. The McGuckin Committee. Alright, we'll read about that in just a little bit. Cool. Following the Zoot Suit riots, the Mexican government lodged a complaint with the USA, or the US, State Department. The contention between America and Mexico, the McGuckin Committee has been created led by the Archbishop of L.A., Joseph Thomas McGuckin. The report concluded that racism was clearly at the center of the rise, as well, stating that an aggressive or aggravating practice of the media. To link the phrase Zoot Suit with the report of a crime, the governor of California appointed the Peace Officers Committee on Sur Civil Disturbances, chaired by Robert W. Kenney, president of the National Lawyer Guild to make rec recommendations to the police. Human Relations Committees were appointed, and police departments were required to train their officers to treat all citizens equally. Let's hope this is the end of it. Or we'll further inflame things here, which also sounds like a lot of fun, but whatever. I'll use you guys too. There you go. Alright. And grab one of these two. We need a little bit more. Follow Manila. Oh. Follow Mexico City. National Park Reorganization Act. Nice. An act has been proposed by Congress to reorganize the National Park Service <clears throat> by consolidating under its umbrella all national parks, national memorials, national cemeteries, national military parks, and the national capital parks. Furthermore, the act will enlarge the number of systems within the National Park Service. Reorganize the National Park Service. If you'd like to read about liberal recovery, please go right ahead. And we finish up this one. Nice, nice, nice. Feature the AFP. Feature the SPA. Um, I want to do begin reconstruction. The nation has suffered much longer, uh, much long before this war started. It is both a monumental task and an opportunity to unify transportation networks and push them through bolder economic ideas to ele elevate American industry above this alien world. Very nice. Barbara Cotter? Yes, please. Ah, some Japanese convoys have arrived. Ah, the Philippines have gone. Helmut von Muck has announced the cowardly Filipino nation could no longer withstand the pressure from the overwhelming presence of Asian forces. Wow. That's kind of impressive, not gonna lie. Hey, there goes Mexico. Nice. Um, we we gotta do radar next. Even more carriers. I, we're focusing on just so many carriers. My God, can you please get these guys done, please? Please, please, please. please. Let's go. 
Hello. Um, honestly, what what type of uh, thing is it? I like that that's the United Central Authority here. Market levels, oh, they're kind of with us. Um, it's not too bad. After this one, we're probably going to go ahead and do what? Sop, Southern Syndicalism, Banana Republics? Let's do that one. The United Fruit Corporation has brought much needed resources into the U.S., at least until Central America spit at us by rejecting both their offers of economic growth and our protection. We must ensure that we regain these goods for the future of the American Empire and that the little nations learn their proper place. After a quick uh, Black Monday recovery, the Russian economy has greatly improved and is rapidly growing to become one of the world's top economies. Today, we received an offer from the Russian government to invest in the country. If we agree, we can become important trade partners, but it is a question if we have the spare money or will. Sure. Money's always good, especially to biz businessmen. Money, 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 money. The able efficiency is very nice as well. There you go. Pretty good. So you guys are just kind of hanging out. Um... I really want to start invading. I really do. Oh, there's some French people here. Send the tanks. No, oh, no, the tanks are already doing other stuff. Send you guys down here. That'll be fine. We just kind of go on in. I'm going to actually send half you guys. Begin an invasion from Honolulu to where? We're not at war with the Germans, actually. So, you know what? Don't do Honolulu. Do it from here, midway. To invade, or no, don't even do midway. How far do we go? We go really far, all the way from Wake to there. There you go. And go from Wake to Guam. We like Guam. Guam it up. Why can we not put these guys here? Oh, it's because we have only so many naval invasion things we can do. All right, that makes sense. Actually, makes a lot of sense, unfortunately. Ah, oh, we finally have another carrier, thank god. I know this one needs a carrier and such, but we need more task forces at first. There you go. Um, we can probably get rid of that one. You know what? Get rid of these. Oh, PSC occupied Baja, California. Troops of the Pacific States have occupied Baja, California Peninsula of Mexico. With our troops about to advance deeper into Mexico, maybe this is a perfect opportunity for press claims for a peace settlement to our advantage. Um, peace proposal from the PSA? Uh, we get claims? Uh, I mean, technically we already took out of all Mexico quite literally already, so I'm not really sure what we're trying to achieve there, but whatever. Who are you fighting? I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't care, yeah. We were kind of already pretty much all war them, so whatever. Head on over here. Go do New England for now. You guys stay up here as well. Um, you guys get down to kind of the southern portion here, and you guys kind of do that one. There you go. It's kind of radical, but whatever. I'm going to focus on the Japanese. The 42 World Series. The first World Series since the end of the Civil War is finally here, and eager Americans are coming out in droves to see the LA Dodgers play against the New York Yankees in what looks to be a matchup for the ages. Joe DiMaggio returning to New York after the conclusion of the war <clears throat> has had a breakout hit this year, safely hitting in an unprecedented 56 consecutive games, a record unlikely to ever be broken. Even as the Dodgers are co coming in this to the series, the clear underdog, many LA fans are believing they can pull it off. Across the country, Americans have been listening to the radio anxiously to find out the winner, in a small bit of respite from the chaos of root running and his much needed moment of national unity, play ball. And I apologize for speaking fast, it's just like, I want to get through some of this stuff, like, I want to, like, win the war. How is our manpower still going up? Because we're rebuilding the country. Cuba joined the Reichs Pact, which is not bad at all. Actually, we kind of like that. We enjoy that. Kill them all, please. There you go. You guys are in the water, which is nice. Oh, Sleepy Lagoon Murder. In L.A., news has been made of Jose Garaldo Diaz, who was recently found murdered near a swimming hole in commerce near L.A. However, what made the story more newsworthy was the case of the men who were accused of murdering the man. The L.A. police found <clears throat> a gang of 17 men of Mexican-American descent nearly, nearby and believed that they were responsible for the crime. This has attracted something of a media circus as activists have tried to protest the actions claiming that these men are not the killer and are innocent and the fact that there is insufficient evidence to link them. Despite this, nine of them were convicted of second-degree murder and sentenced to serve time in San Quentin Prison, with the rest being imprisoned in L.A. County Jail. The case has generated much animosity within the white populace towards Mexican-Americans, not helped by the fact that both the pop police and the press have characterized all Mexican youths as pachuco hoodlums and baby gangsters. Poor Diaz. Dodgers win the World Series. The Dodgers have done the seemingly impossible, defeating Joe DiMaggio and the star-studded New York Yankees in six games in front of over 100,000 fans of the LA Coliseum. Much of the success was due to recent acquisition of Joe Medwick from the St. Louis, who out-hit Joe DiMaggio throughout the entire series. A close call occurred in Game 4, when Dodgers catcher Mickey Owen nearby or nearly made an error that cost him the game, but the Dodgers recovered one play later, ending the game and securing momentum for the eventual LA victory. At the conclusion of the series, Medwick dedicated the victory to all those who lost their lives during the war, serving as a somber, sobering reminder on an Otherwise, bright day. They've actually done it. Well, good for them.
we are basically back and ready to smash a lot of enemies of America. Cool. I wonder what the Reich is going to do. I mean, they're, they're losing quite badly, actually. Our allies are over here, but the problem with that is just that the Navy-wise, just, or no, just supply-wise, uh, we're probably a bit... How is Spain still in the Civil War? How? Oh, we're getting more weekly stability. Yes, we are 1.1%, which is nice. Begin Reconstruction, and Banana Republics are next. Which would be very nice. So, I guess the end goal for this campaign is to beat up Japan and beat up the Reds. That's it. So, that'd be nice. Very, very nice. Uh, Doctors would be nice. We could use more rubber. There you go. Nice. Very good. What else was I thinking of getting? We could grab that. It is 72. 42, I mean. Not 72. This isn't TNO. You know. Uh, that's fine. I don't really care. 16,000? How many Mexicans did we kill, actually? 440,000. So, wow. West Indies Union is gone, which is nice. So this stuff is all done, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. Tank stuff. We could do that stuff, but we're going to wait anyways. Uh, get better M1 Garands. M2 Garands, maybe. Nice. Anything else here? Uh, war Propaganda? Why not? We love War Propaganda. 98% is not high enough for us. Um, actually, are you guys done? Oh, man, you still have a lot to do. Cut it down, then. Send half you guys over here, too. That'd be fine. Maybe can. Okay. Well, that's weird. That really sucks. Cuba has been called into war, which is fine with us. I mean, Cubans are fine to call into war, I guess. Uh, so after this one, we're probably going to go do the Western Empire. I kind of like that claim, South America. S sphere of Influence. I think we'd do longer reach. Yeah, I think we'd rather this one. So project power in the rest of the world. We must achieve the ability to do so through our neighbor power. Man, this, this mod just lags so hard. It just lags, lags, lags so much. Alright, so we actually probably need to cover all these islands as well. Our navy obviously isn't very good yet, but we'll see what happens. Slowly approach these areas. And I could probably use like a naval base here probably. Or air base. Oh, we're at level 2. Well, that's not too bad. Let's follow Shenyang. Get some radar over there. And you know what? Boost up the naval base too. Just because uh, it's going to be probably really bad. And they went to where the Chinese. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's, that's not good. We lost 17 destroyers there. Oh boy. We're getting actually naval invaded ourselves. Wow, that sucks. Um. Oh. Not sure what you guys are doing. Uh, let's grab some of you guys. And then... Yeah, just kind of hang out, guys. It's not good. Supply is really bad, too. So that's why we want to build up the naval port here. Maybe infrastructure, too. Oh, boy. That's not good. I Don't you hate it when the enemies death stack? They just death stack so hard. But then again, so have we. And we're destroying... They sunk 17 of our destroyers. Well, we're sinking more than they. They've sunk of ours. We lost four so far. Well, that's not too bad. We sunk. We lost five versus a cruiser. An escort cruiser and 27 destroyers. Not bad. All right, everyone. Go ahead and repair. Another carrier. Good. We got another carrier. That's awesome, awesome, awesome. Sinking some stuff. Oh, we lost. Oh, we actually lost the carrier. No wonder. Oh, that sucks. The Japanese Navy is really strong still. Well, I, mean, I guess that makes sense, you know. Ah, uh, that sucks. That really, really, really sucks. Well, that's all right. We'll make up for it. I guess no one else really challenges the Japanese Navy except for us. That sucks that we lost a carrier, though. That really su does suck. Banana Republics. Followed up with... Uh, Longer Reach. Yes, please. And rebuild the... Uh, Pacific Islands. Now do rebuild the South Atlantic States. What is this? There's some that think America is nothing but a weak, but effeminate liberal state. Too incapable to join the civilized world. This is false. America has always been the most powerful nation in the world, and it's time to prove that to the world. San Francisco Fashion Week. Uh, San Fran is sometimes called the Paris of the West, thus to help make it one of the cultural centers of the world. A week-long event in spring dedicated to fashion. Thus, the fashion designers of America have come to San Fran to help set up shop and support the endeavor to make San Francisco one of the cultural and fashion capitals of the world, so that she can truly be proud of her nickname, Paris of the West. New fashion for America? So that's why I like to put armor on these guys, just in case they get hit. So, subjugate Costa Rica? Haiti Hilton? Invade the Dominican Republic? 
That's kind of cool. Let's, 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 let's wait to do that one, though. Wow. Those guys died. Work with the Qing allies? We should use American know-how to aid our American allies. Yep, that's good. They refuse? Why do they refuse? China. China. Are you really in a position to refuse aid? A super weapons on a budget. In the last few years, our military research has focused on the potential for international or internal conflict, narrowing our focus and budget for longer-term projects. This year's congressional budget has fortunately found some money to allocate to a long-term project. Three plans were presented to the military high command to meet and exceed the military projections uh, projects of arrivals. The first is a rocket by Goddard, theoretically capable of delivering explosives from miles away without risking pilot lives. The second, Oppenheimer's plan, theoretical bomb using radioactive heavy metals, as researched in Austria and Germany. The third is a much cheaper plan, as proposed by the eccentric Wilhelm Reich. He claims that a bomb can be made much cheaper using his own physics research. Bomb. We're gonna bomb the heck out of them. Nimitz, you lost a carrier. How dare you. At least we're building ourselves up here, so that's nice, at least building, 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 building. How's the airbase doing? Not too bad. Hejaz is capitulated. We're gonna need some more of these guys. Carrier cast would be nice. Um, throw on. Fighters are okay. Not great. We need a lot more of these guys. Uh, I keep it on five for now because we need way more naval bombers, actually. California Pacific International Exposition. Today opens a California Pacific International Exhibition in San Diego. The exhibition was held to promote San Diego and support its economy, which had slowed with the country's Great Depression in 25. The exhibition exposition has hundreds of exhibits on history, arts, horticulture, ethnic culture, science, and industry. Some concessions and exhibits were unusual, such as the Gold Gulch, Lost Continent of Mu, Zorro Garden Nudist Colony, and the One Ton Mechanical Man. The expo attracted over 7.2 million visitors during its 377 days of operation. Visitors brought in $37 uh, million, million dollars to San Diego. The exposition was so popular that some buildings are being rebuilt to, made, to be made permanent. Let's do it again next year. Nice. That's pretty good. All right, we need to continue doing our naval auction too. So, uh, so destroy our stuff. That'd be really good, so we don't lose them as fast. And enter the fray. I'm um, kind of already dead, so stabilize the east. We must support our eastern allies by bringing the Philippines under our wing and providing protection. Cool. I do apologize for reading fast. Oppenheimer's bomb success. An invitation by Oppenheimer was set out to nuclear researchers, physicists, and engineers throughout Europe. The promise of escaping persecution in Europe has resounding most strongly with the Jewish scientists, some of whom emigrated to the U.S. for the project. After a year and a half of experimentation, some cooperation with the leagues in Europe, a working atomic bomb is ready to be tested. The skies of Almogorodo, New Mexico, lit up in a flash of destruction as a bomb, test bomb, val valediction exploded. Oppenheimer later said that the bomb was named after his favorite John Donny John Don pro poem. The breath now goes. Cool. Oh, and there goes those guys. Cool. Keep building yourselves up, please, 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 please. We don't have another carrier yet, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Stay hope for Hawaii. Hawaii is a proposed to the being admitted to the U.S. of A. as a state. Should Hawaii be admitted as a state with all that entails, or should it remain a territory? It's a territory. Good. Master Axe would be good. And when do we get the next carrier, even though we already lost one? We got enough of this. Good on to five. Um, bombers will be nice. We need more rubber. We definitely need more rubber. Stabilize the east versus, uh, end of the fray. America belongs on the world stage, and while we are hesitant to be drawn into foreign alliances, we will not hesitate to use our military might to stamp out threats around the world that will eventually find us. Pretty much. War propaganda? Might as well. Even though we literally don't need it. Fall oh, oh, that's not good. That's really not good, actually. Um, I'm just worried about using my fleet yet. It is 42. Get more... We need more carriers since we lost some, so... Uh, get some more rubber, too. Kane, Citizen Kane released. Um, if you're wondering about that, please go right ahead. I think I've heard it, this one before, so... Rosebud, Market Liberalism. Rosebud. Hey, there you go. Destroyers. I mean, we lost that one task force, but whatever. It is what it is. I mean, guys are not super weak, but they're just not great. Uh, I could probably close this one out. I'm just worried about the enemy navy. That's what I'm really worried about. We definitely need more radar, too. After this one, let's get some radar. It's 42. You could probably use radar on our ships anyways. Alright, anything else? Um, not too much. Better guns are nice, of course. 
Would it be possible to go yet? No. I just don't want to risk our guys too much. Another destroyer, which is fine. Four task forces. Well, we could try it here. Tribal Weapons Companies. A number of weapon companies have fought for the various traders and rebels against America. Thus, a hearing has been brought before Congress to set their fate. Shall we allow them to operate again, or shall they be regarded as traders and treated, be treated as such? Um, I want more market liberalism. I've already made a decision what way we're going, so... Hey, it's a good task force. That's nice. Like, here, you can tell. We're, we're maxing out on carriers. Infinite carriers, man. Doesn't matter what the cost is, get more. Rebuild Alaska? Might as well. Hey... Nine more? Yeah. That's what they get for pulling crap like that against us. We need more naval supremacy, which is not good right now. We do have a carrier, though. It's only 60 planes, but it'll work for now. Oh! More of a task force is showing up. Sink that dreadnought. Come on. We lost two destroyers. That's not good. We lost... Oh, we lost a battleship, too. Oh, that sucks. We lost a battleship. That's a Valkyrie era. Nine destroyers versus... Oh, that actually really wasn't worth it, then. I have equipment. Nope. Tra traders. They are traders. End of the fray. Cool. And let's do naval industry. Well, not nearly as historically significant as on the East Coast. We still have a strong legacy of commercial shipping. We should ensure that this industry supports the war effort. Look at that lag. Wow, baby. Oh, baby boy. Let's keep building. Keep repairing. Uh, the case against Paramount Pictures. A court case has reached the Supreme Court of the U.S. of A. Regarding the studio system that have been using... Been, been used... Uh, that have been a legal battle for several years. The issue at the heart of the case was a studio system where the major movie industries would own the theaters outright. After a number of years of back and forth, this reached the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court ruled against the studio system, declaring that it was a violation of the antitrust laws. This court case has thus struck down the studio system and marks the end of an age for Hollywood. Good? The end of the studio system. Oh well, goodbye. It is 42. We could use more extraction. Get more rubber. A hey, hey, an actual task force was sunk. Good. Nimitz, are you still learning? Please, please, please continue learning. Level skill level six, trial the aviation companies. They're traders. Just straight up, they're just straight up traders. We're still demobilizing, but we're still doing quite well on our fuel. Or guys here. Another destroyer? Not yet, actually, huh? Hmm. I don't want to remove these guys, but we might have to. So we can fo focus more guys over here as well. All right, we have another battle. We sunk two more convoys. Nope. Nice. And what do we got here? Another task force is going down. Very, very good. You know, cheek, cheek, cleek. Cool. Come on, carriers. We need more. Oh, the United Front forms, which is good for them. The Japanese. They have not that much manpower. They're, oh, they're only on volunteer only. Holy crap! They don't have that many convoys. They still have a massive navy. They've there's so much, just so much. Hope they're going to China. Uh, I'm not really sure what else we can do here then, just because our fighters just don't have the range to get over there. And while I love using these guys, we just don't have enough of these guys. So really, we got to keep pumping up our no our naval numbers. Naval industry followed up with the rebuild of America's roads. Traders' companies, business subsidies. Um, reconstruction is over. Oil production. Freedmen's Bureau. The clan resistance will be damaged. Redeemer collaboration. I went to the Freedmen's Bureau. After the First Civil War, we established a Freedmen's Bureau to help African Americans join the larger society. With the Second Civil War over, we must do this again, but go farther. We'll promote black politicians and allow black people the right to vote, and make sure they have what they need to keep the clan down. Work with Liang allies? Yes, please. They have, of course, agreed, which makes sense. Any other battles here yet? No? Hmm. We can still invade the Dominican Republic, but that wouldn't really do much for us, now would it? No, it would not. Still trying to build these guys up. Please, carriers, please. Please make me faster than this. But the guys are ready to go. I mean, they're just like 100% ready to go. Let's keep doing some more radar, too. <clears throat> Future of the SBA. We could do that one. Uh, crush the old clan. We'll probably do that one actually next, maybe. Restore legitimacy. Um, we're kind of already pretty good on all this stuff, so crush the old clan. The old KKK is left over from the first civil war. Almost 80 years later, it's finally time for them to die. 
We will quash the Black Legion, the clan, and make sure that neither has the power to rise up against us ever, ever again. Yeah, work with all the allies, that's fine. Well, some of them, Yunnan refused, Shandong agreed, as well as, was it, Anqing is refused? Alright then, well, it is your funeral, man. Oh, they joined the Entente, huh? Actually, how's that going? Germany's still playing a good fight, actually. We could help invade, I guess, but, eh. Supplies actually aren't that bad. I just want to focus on the Japanese much more. Better radar, good. Get even better radar. That kind of escorts. I'll do the next one, too. There you go. That helps us out quite a bit. This should give us even more range so we can see what's going on. And carriers. We're making carriers out the wazoo right now. Uh, building up still a lot of good stuff here. No more rubber, though. Self-sufficient rubber. It's fine. What percentage are we at? What if instead we did this? Uh, where are you? Are you destroyed? God dang it. Kind of escorts? How about naval elevation support? There you go. Is that going to be good enough? 39%? Not really, no. So that's the case. Keep, keep reading convoys. You might as well. Alright, you are what? Destroyed? That's not good enough. Intelligence. We have all these people here. Put some... Uh, oh, we can't even put intel down there. That sucks. Uh, let's go to Tokyo. Good luck. There you go. Intel all over the islands. There you go. Get to the center. And we'll keep one at home. That seems pretty smart to do, actually. Freeman's Bureau and crush the old clan? Yes, please. Hmm. God dang it. Uh, it sucks that we have to wait so long to make carriers. I wish we didn't lose one earlier. Look how many we're trying to make. This guy's taking forever, too. You know, I thought the output, like this would increase output, but it does not. Which really, 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 really sucks. Dockyard output. Oh, that was a lie. Then there's... then dock, The only dockyard output you really get is... Um, just convoy stuff, then. You don't get any increased production, so... That really sucks. The Wizard of Oz. It's been released to glowing reviews. Based on the best-selling book by Frank L. Baum, the movie stars Judy Garland, Frank Morgan, Ray Bolger, Bear Lahr, Jack Haley, Billy Burke, Margaret Hamilton, and Charlie Grapewine. What has made it famous is its use of color thanks to the innovation of Technicolor. It is hit with both audiences and critics alike. Follow the yellow brick road. Cool. And we have one more here. Work with the Italian allies? Yes, please. They have agreed. Smartly, smartly, smartly. Crush the old clan. Do we still have resistance here? Economic aftermath, political aftermath, we don't really care. Yeah, this hurt our encryption a little bit, which is not good. Farm education, American laissez faire, social gospel, immigration influx. Oh my god, we just can't make any more things, can we? I do not want to. Naval supremacy is so bad right now. Is there, okay, is there anywhere closer we can hit? Can we hit here instead, maybe? That be actually might be better. I'll take that off, go down here then. We're a little bit closer to Australia this way. Um, 38, 39% is still better than what we had, so you can do that too. That's fine. There you go. I don't really care where you go. Uh, let's set you guys up a little bit better. Wake, can you guys at least get down to here maybe? Uh, that's Guam. Um, can you get down here maybe? 21 days? Why is it so long? Holy crap. Screw that. Take one. Take these other two to go somewhere else then. Uh, not there then. Uh... God dang it, I guess not. Just because we have to go through there as well when we don't have naval supremacy. Alright, let's see. Please get out of this mode. Please, 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 please. Alright. Continue seeking convoys. I mean, that tying up their resources is a really good idea. Alright, there you go. There you go. Convoys go bye bye. Manpower goes bye bye. Resources go bye bye. For the love of God, please get another carrier out. Please, 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 please. After crushing the old clan, build traditional machines. Or engine crow. Traditional machines, huh? I kind of like that one, but we'll probably go with N. Jim Crow. Abraham Lincoln is ruling in his grave today, partly thanks to Jim Crow, the system in the South. The system is slavery in all but name, and if we are to restore liberal democracy, we must end the system. This may be unpopular with more racist Southerners, but we will not make the mistake of coddling them again. Cool. Oh, what happened here? Uh, we shot on some planes. It's nice. 
Well, if, the, if these guys need to go and repair, that's fine with me. We still just cannot get enough naval supremacy. I'm not sure what we're supposed to do here, then. If we cannot get naval supremacy, we cannot do anything. That is a mistake. I just don't know what we can do. And the Gazorak's back. God dang it, now it's going to lag like heck. Ah, uh, I just don't know what to do. I mean, it takes so long to build up a navy. It takes so long. And I tried to, you know, focus a little bit earlier on making carriers, but then we lost a carrier because the Japanese navy is just massive. And you don't have good enough range on your planes to do anything. What do you think really just sucks? We've lost only 16,000. How many? We've killed off. Not that many guys. Just 97,000 of them. Hey, I got better radar. That's nice. It's hard to see, but yeah, out there. Oh, it's lagging super hard. It's lagging so hard right now. The next, by the end of the next episode, Japan will be dead. So, I can guarantee you that. Okay, come on, please don't release like six thousand people. Get some better radar. The fall of Germany. It is what it is. We don't really care. Oh my God! Please, come on. Don't separate Germany into three separate parts again. All right. So shooting down a lot of planes. It's nice. They probably have a lot of fuel. Oh my God! Please stop lagging, man. I'll, I'll be honest. Like. That's why I don't like playing Kaiser Redux sometimes. It's just so incredibly laggy. It's too laggy, in my opinion, sometimes. It's just too much. Oh, wow, look at the Princely Federation. Yeah, I don't like the split into three. I, I never like that. It makes sense, but I still never like it. How, are, how is Spain still in a civil war? And what is Austria doing? Oh, they're not even a faction now. Okay, crush your old clan. That's good. And Jim Crow. And what else do we have here? Work with these allies. Might as well. Malta, Denmark, and your IDC review. Spend 100, that's fine. Dominic Cuba? Sure, why not? We can do that one. Um, Naval Engineers was a mistake. Construction speed. What everything is nice. I mean, yeah, the other one would be not too bad. Just because you do get, like, faster repair speed, but still, like... Eh, that could still be pretty good, but... I don't know. Is it really worth it? Maybe. We only have two people working. Why the heck do we only have two people working? What, what are you doing? Go out into the ocean. You don't need the USS Texas there. You really don't. You guys are the reasons why we're not doing so well. No, don't repair there. Don't repair there. Don't repair there. Why are you going to there? Go back to where I built us up already. Where are you at? Singapore? Eh. Singapore is level 8. Oh, we're kind of okay with Singapore then. Oh my god. Yeah, this really sucks. I'm sorry, guys. This just sucks. This just really sucks. So much. And I don't want to send our guys anywhere else. How strong are the Japanese? So what do they have here? Quite a few things here. Got a couple of subs, all escort cruisers, few cruisers, destroyers. They just... I wish they get the Navy out. Oh, they must have raised their... The Great Caucasian State, huh? They raised their conscription level. They're on free trade, which is really hurting their oil, probably, but... Eh. At least China's getting involved. Good, sink every single thing they've got. Wait, do they, do they have something down here? Oh. Wait, when do they take all these islands out? Okay, well, that's good to know. Oh, we didn't. We can invade, possibly. No, our allies did. Oh, please stop lagging for the love of God. You know, I'm just, I'll be honest. At the end of this episode, I'm just going to, like, delete a good portion of everyone's divisions. So, just because it just, it's too laggy. It's just too laggy. Russia, uh, England, uh, ourselves. So, it just, it's just too much. It seriously is. Game. Can I not put these guys on? Even though putting these guys here actually is pro probably pretty good for us. Um, the, the Japanese did this so we can see a lot of the convoys and strength, but whatever. Uh, do that one too. And then go from here to there. Jibor. That's good enough for now. No, screw it. Screw this. Now? Are you kidding me? Now we have green? After I resettle everything, that's so stupid, man. As you can tell, I'm 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 a little frustrated with this. I'm quite frustrated with this. We try to do well, and we can't even go down there. Come on, Australia, do better. I want us to do one successful naval invasion this episode. Cause my God, sometimes it just sucks sometimes doing this. Come on, yeah, I'm going to delete a lot of divisions. You know what? We don't need a, we don't need this massive army. There you go. Goodbye. Uh, there you go. I, I hate the lag. I hate the lag so much. There you go. 
But I'll delete some Japanese divisions, I'll delete some Chinese divisions. I'll just make sure that everything's kind of a little bit more balanced. Alright, let's go ahead. You should be able to do this. And where are those Japanese divisions? Thank God we got another carrier here. Thank God. You have one. Um, you go here. And Jim Crow. Um, and future SBA. While the U.S. government tolerates political discourse, Congress has rallied against the syndicals and distributionist platforms of Haywood and Reed. Legal bodies found to be advocating for trade unions or mutualistic organizations will be prosecuted under the 1970 Sedition Act. Similar, more pragmatic ideas could be considered, however. How do we not have naval supremacy here? The Japanese have nothing here. All right, we took one island. Very nice. We'll immediately send you from here. To take out that one. Good luck. Fall of Kiev. Lady Thin is gone. More blue. Very good. Head on over there, and then head on back. Good. Actually, you guys go down here too. A lot of stupid little islands. Jibor is ours. Very good. And hopefully we get these both. Good, good, good. Betio. And you guys go from here. Yeah, just take one because it's, it's so much faster to like actually get this stuff done this way. Cool. You guys are fine. Go from here to invade there. Boom, 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 boom. Oh. We have more stuff down there, but at least we successfully naval invaded. Unless there's more events, I'm going to read a few focuses so we can do this a little bit more off screen. Uh, future AFP. Congress has decided that the AFP is a traitorous party and must be treated as such. It will be banned under the 1917 Sedition Acts. Their most extreme populist ideals will have no place in a new society. However, perhaps some of their more modern ideas could be adopted and rebuild American railroads. The railroad networks across America are in shambles and war era constructions are jury rigged to older tracks. Congress has approved of rebuilding our railroad network in the form of mandatory third rail electrification. Electrified tracks will force our en energy grid reform as a result. Electrification program. In order to accommodate the mandatory third rail, as well as to ensure the safety of more remote parts of America, an electrification project is approved across all state lines. Congress is now pulling state governments to fund transformers and hydroelectric power as it is their responsibility. Business subsidies. Small businesses in America struggle to expand their, their employment opportunities, which is contributing to the un unemployment. The issue of unsafe working conditions returning to prominence due to the need for faster production has led to agitated workers. Congress has approved a federal purse to subsidize small businesses. Rebuild America's industry. America's exports have fallen during the Depression despite taking a laissez-faire position on trade laws. Exports are also one of the main ways we measure economic activity. We must invest in the tertiary services of our industrial businesses use in order to lower their bottom line and increase output. Good. Economic investments. A more bold strategy is devised by Congress to assist in economic recovery. Traditional notions that government purchases are negatively associated with growth. Newer theories that hold that smart purchases can stimulate the economy. Industrial... American industrial might. The war may have temporarily reinvigorated heavy industry, but its design was temporary and facilities were essentially built on top of closed facilities or factories. We must bring our safety and management efficiencies to bear in order to make this up upswing permanent. Trials of traders' companies, which will do that one. It is time for Congress to hear the testimony of the rebellious companies. Some are advocating for the exec for just their executives to resign, while others insist on piercing the corporate veil. This would allow the government to prosecute individual shareholders as responsible decision for decisions made. As responsible for decisions made, rebuild American roads. The state funded interstate highway system was easy targets for sabotage. We must cooperate or cooperate with the states in order to ensure safe commerce and travel through America once more. Rebuild agricultural industry. In order to transport and process the food to feed our nation, we must encourage innovative preservation and agronomy sciences. Congress has set up a fund to investigate this, and several politicians have contributed to it directly. Good. And aviation industry. The U.S. used to lead the world in civilian aircraft manufacturing. Now assembly line systems in Germany has, made, has outpaced us. Congress has spoken to intelligence agencies about what we can do to encourage businesses to adopt these techniques, including our contractors. Farming subsidies. It's necessary to subsidize farms or crops we are in need of, and paying farmers to terminate their fields of lost assets for products like tobacco we don't need right now, but want skilled labor to still be available, and farming subsidies, we're doing that, review the Fed. One of the things we must do to recover from the roots and turmoil is to review the Federal Reserve. Some argue that we should privatize it, saying it would be more efficient this way. Others want to fully abolish it, saying it's an institution that is not necessary to solve financial crises. There are also those who wish to reform it and make it a better institution regardless. This, we must make a decision regarding it. Restore legitimacy. The numerous embassies we were not able to staff during the crisis has finally re received relief. We shall reestablish ourselves to the world community as a stronger and more unified nation with an expanded diplomatic corps. And we'll finish off with reconstruction over. 
The years of poor economic management and civil strife have not left our minds, but the most damning, damning effects are diminished. But I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we're close to defeating Japan. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.